Allah Azza wa Jalla he tells us in Surah Al-Baqarah a story about a man aw kalladhi marra ala qaryatin wa hiya khawiyatun ala urushiha there was a man in the past no one saw him he saw no one only Allah saw him and Allah mentioned in the Quran the story of this man and what he went through Allah Azza wa Jalla tells us a man in the past, مر على قرية وهي خاوية على عروشها. He passed by a town, and the town they say it was بيت المقدس وهي خاوية على عروشها. At the time he passed by this town, it was خاوية على عروشها. It was ruined. It was destroyed. The walls had fallen down. The animals have perished and died. The water wells were useless. There was absolutely no one in this town. It was dead. A dead town, a ghost town. This man, he was on his donkey. And he had his food and he had his water with him. So he passed by this town and he said, he looked at everything dead. And he said, He asked a question. How is Allah going to revive this town after he has died? How is Allah going to bring life to this town? Where would the water come out from? How would the trees grow? How would the crops grow? Where would life form in this town? Immediately right then and there, Allah Azza wa wants to teach this man something. He's on his donkey, he fell off, he died. Allah caused death upon him. He died, his food fell off, and his donkey died as well. How many years? One hundred years he died. ثم بعثه فأماته الله مئة عام ثم بعثه After a hundred years, Allah Azza wa Jal resurrected him. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said to him, "كم لبثت? How long did you die for? How long?" He answered. He said, "قال لبثت يوما أو بعض يوم." I think in my estimation, in my calculation. I probably was dead for half a day or one day. 100 years. Look how time passes. Time is quick. It goes by really quick. He felt it like a day or half a day. Don't waste your time. Time goes quick. قال, قال, Allah Azza wa Jal said to him, He died a hundred years. Now, listen to what Allah said to him. He said to him, فَانْظُرْ إِلَىٰ طَعَامِكَ وَشَرَابِكَ لَمْ His problem was, his knowledge about Allah was limited. He was ignorant about Allah. When he came to a town, he questioned, how does Allah revive this? He doesn't know who Allah is. Allah wants to teach him something about himself. So Allah Azza wa Jal said to him, look at your food and your water. Lam yatasannah, meaning lam yatagayyar ma'amurur sinin That your food and your drink, look at it. It's still fresh as it is. It did not change. By time, it did not change it. Do you know what's the miracle in this? That food is the quickest thing on earth that rots. You put a salad on the table now, come after 12 hours, it's gone. It's finished. You cannot eat it anymore. You put a fruit and open it up, 24 hours, less than that, it's rotten. No one eats it. The quickest thing on earth that rots, it's food. Allah Azza wa Jal preserved his food. No refrigeration. No, nothing, no preservatives. The food was preserved and fresh as it is, even though 100 years passed by. Allah Azza wa Jal, he said to him, himarik. Wasn't he on a donkey? The donkey had died. The donkey had been eaten by the earth. Nothing is left of the donkey, only a bit of pieces of bones and they were scattered all over the place. For he saw his donkey. What was left of it? Only bones. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, وَانْظُرْ إِلَىٰ حِمَارِكْ وَانْظُرْ إِلَىٰ الْعِظَامِ كَيْفَ نُنْشِزُهَا ثُمَّ نَكْسُوهَا لَحْمَا All of a sudden, this miraculous sight occurs and happens right before his eyes. The bones, they come to each other and they begin to form to with each other. And then Allah azza wa jal begins to dress these bones with meat. كَيْفَ نَكْسُوهَا لَحْمَا And all of a sudden, his donkey rose. And his donkey was alive once again, ready for him to ride on once again. وَانْظُرْ إِلَىٰ حِمَارِكْ وَلِنَشْعَلَكَ آيَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَانْظُرْ إِلَىٰ الْعِظَامِ كَيْفَ نُنْشِزُهَا ثُمَّ نَكْسُوهَا لَحْمَا By the end of all this, this man, he reached the conclusion. 
قال أعلم أن الله على كل شيء قدير Finally his conclusion was Now I know and I'm certain that Allah is capable over all things My brothers and sisters in Islam This is something you and I always say Allah على كل شيء قدير This man he deserved to die 100 years to learn something about Allah 100 years to learn something about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to learn and to be certain that Allah is capable over all things that you and I say Allah ala kulli shay'in qadir but how much do you believe and how much are you convinced of this statement in your life when trouble happens in your life are you quick to say Allah ala kulli shay'in qadir when you fall in debt and you're worried you can no longer pay your debt off do you say Allah ala kulli shay'in qadir when you're looking for marriage and you cannot get married, how certain are you? And you sit with yourself and you say, Allah ala kulli shay'in qadir. How certain are you of that? You see, the statement is easy to say, but this man had to die 100 years to learn this lesson. Allah ala kulli shay'in qadir. How much do you believe? How much are you certain in the fact that Allah is capable over all things in your life? capable of removing all your worries and your sadness and your sorrow and your anxiety and your distress how much are you convinced of this matter